welcome back to my channel my name is abby and today i'm just gonna do a little daily vlog um not i'm gonna be honest i'm not sure how exciting this is gonna be okay clean up um not sure how exciting this is gonna be because i don't have a whole lot planned for today i have work it's wednesday so there's some kiddos here right now um i'm also i don't know if you can I did have a party on Sunday. Um, I'm not really feeling the best. Um, I woke up, okay, Monday morning with a cold. The kids finally gave me their cold. Um, I was holding it off for a while. I take elderberry syrup most days and usually that helps, but it caught me. But luckily it only lasted like Monday and Tuesday. I felt pretty bad and then this morning I woke up, today's Wednesday, I woke up and even last night, I felt better um, when I went to sleep and stuff. Just throw those away, we're not gonna save it. Um, I felt better going to sleep, like my nose wasn't stuffed up. Um, I slept good. I have been letting myself sleep in, so I was getting up. I have been getting up at like 5.40 to do my bike pedals before work and read a little bit. But um, the last couple of days, I've just been letting myself sleep in to about 6.30. Um, just to give my body some rest that I'm trying to like be okay with. And I'm not going to the gym this week. Um, after work or anything I'm just resting and I did take the kids for a walk yesterday and stuff but like I'm just trying to let my body rest and feel better um last week I was feeling like pretty tired and just like not the best and um I still worked out and went to the gym and I boxed with my brother and um then I got sick, so I'm like wondering if I would have maybe taken it a little bit easier last week and maybe I wouldn't have gotten sick, but whatever. Like I said, the sickness lasted like two days and now I feel like I still sound a little bit not good, but I feel a lot better. So that's good. Um, yeah, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure what this vlog is gonna really entail because um, I don't have a whole lot planned for today, but yeah, we're still gonna film something and who knows what we'll do, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast, I'm making a bagel, I have my apple juice with my rhodiola oil, and yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy that and hang out with these kids. All right guys, we're in the midst of playtime. I'm gonna show you something I've been doing while the kids play. No, I'm using that. You go get a different one. I'm gonna see if they react the way I think they're gonna react. What? 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 What are you pointing at? What is it? It's yours. <gasps> what am I making? A pink blankie. A pink blankie. I started knitting again. Okay, so. I. Hold on, show. Um. I. Taught myself how to crochet. Well. My grandma kind of taught me, and then I watched some videos on YouTube on how to crochet um, years ago because I would be, like, watching a show and scrolling on my phone, and I was like, that's ridiculous. You need to, like, do something productive. So, hey, how about we just, like, talk? Um, taught myself how to crochet, and I got into, like, making hats and all kinds of stuff years ago, probably around, like, 2015-ish. And then, um... I decided I wanted to start to knit and several years ago I did learn how to knit um, when my um, aunt passed away she also passed away in like 2015 um, but sometime after that my uncle gave me all of her knitting needles and she had started a blanket for my cousin who was pregnant um, for the baby and I ended up finishing the blanket so I had to teach myself how to knit to finish the blanket um, but I just know like the basic like knit whatever like the most okay, basic way to knit i don't know like a bunch of stitches or whatever i don't know even what it's called i want to learn more but um anyway so i finished that blanket and gave it to the baby for her first birthday which she's like six or seven now so that was years ago so i haven't knit in a really long time so i was like i'm just going to start knitting i pulled some yarn out that i had these are my aunt's needles and i'm just doing like the basic knit stitch and I just cast on, I googled like how big um, a large blanket would be, so I cast on 
however many stitches. I think it was like 120 stitches. And this is what I have started so far. I've been working on it for like a month. And I'm just doing like a basic knit stitch. And I just wanted something that like is mindless and easy. And I could just knit, 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 knit. And see how big I can get the blanket to be. Um, just to keep my mind occupied or my hands occupied really while I'm like just hanging out or watching a show. So my plan is I'm going to make this like a really big blanket. Really big blanket. As you can see, it's going to take forever. But I feel like that's okay. Is that, um, is that for us? <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably let you guys play with it. And my plan is it'll just be big and pink. And then I'm going to learn how to knit like maybe like little butterflies or rainbows well, or... Um, like cool. Or if I can crochet those too if I can't figure out how to knit them. Um, and then I'm going to like attach them to the blanket. And maybe I'll put some like fringe around the edge. Just make it like a fun like almost play mat blanket thing for the kids. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and this may take me forever to get done. But yeah, this is a little something that I have been doing. Cute, while the kids are playing or in the evenings when I'm just like hanging out. Um, so yeah, but the kids, every time I pull it down, they're like, oh, are you going to make our blanket? I'm like, yeah, and I think they think I'm going to finish it. And they don't realize it's going to take me like a really long time to get done. So I think you're okay. You jumped in there too. Listen, if you jump around and be crazy, sometimes you're going to get bonked. Okay? That's just the way she things work. No. Because I'm talking about my knitting. So, I'm going to knit while they play. We're watching Heartland. They're playing. Hanging out. Um, we're still waiting on our last kid to get here. I don't know where Rennie is. Remember she walks down that street? Yeah, because she lives up there. She walks the daycare, but I don't know where she is. She's been coming later lately. <laughs> Um, she doesn't, oh, Rennie doesn't oh, drive here. No, she walks. Because she lives close. Um, Alright, yeah, so I'm going to knit. And does anybody else knit? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I feel like I should have picked bigger needles. Because this, look how like, I don't know. I feel like the stitches are really small. And it may not be the most coziest blanket. That's why I decided to kind of maybe make it just a play mat or something. And put fun stuff on it. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna work on this while they play. Hi! Alrighty guys, so I was trying to think of what I wanted to let the kids do today. I didn't have anything scheduled. Um, and I'll talk more about this in my December planning video, but we have not really stuck with my plans for November as far as circle time and things like that go. We have been doing the activities I planned, um, which I'm gonna film a daycare vlog tomorrow so you'll get to see a little bit of that. Um, because the other tweezers weren't working so well. Um, kids have been sick, I've been sick, and like we just have not done any, I think we might have done one circle time. We haven't done any last week, and we're not gonna do this week, and we're not gonna do any next week. So I'm just gonna um, hop back into it after, after Thanksgiving. Um, we'll get back to it then, but yeah. So today I was trying to think like, what should I do with the kids? Um, so I put out some cent some center stuff. Um, not everything, just um, some things. So I'll show you what I have set up for the kiddos. All right, good job. We're doing the bead sorting here. And then we have two spots set up. After this one. Okay, we have two spots set up for fishing. So the fish pond goes in the middle. And then two kids can be here and fill up their little buckets. And then we have, I put this puzzle, I put this puzzle out. Um, it's where you can dress the girl. She has different outfits. And over here, they can play with these little things that stick together. And then over here, I have two spots where they can build one of these little puzzles. So usually I have more things, more puzzles out, more stuff they can go, usually they go in the kitchen. But... We're just doing a condensed, more condensed version of um, Center City. Because um, that's all I have the energy for. I'm going to go hang out with the babies and just sit on the couch so I can see them in here while they do this. But yeah, so this is a plan for the morning. We'll probably do this. This will probably keep them busy for a long time, honestly. Um, so that'll be good. So yeah, that's the plan. And I'll check in with you later. Hey guys, so <clears throat> it's like... 20 after 1, the kids are all sleeping. That I'd show you what I have for lunch today, even though it's not what I eat today, but I'm going to show you anyways. So this is all the meat and cheese from my kebabs I made. I just pulled them off. Um, had some leftovers, so I've been eating that. So it's um, pepperoni, salami, and this is mozzarella cheese. And then I air fried some carrots and some chickpeas. Really good. 
Yesterday was my first day trying air fried carrots and I did like them, so thumbs up. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be my lunch. I'm just chilling while the kids sleep. Alrighty guys, it is after nap time. Um, one little girl's finishing up snack, two little girls left, one little girl's going potty, the babies are in there playing. Um, but I forgot to tell you that I had my daycare inspection Monday, today's Wednesday, I had it on Monday. Um, everything went really well. I had a couple um, minor paperwork type things I needed to fix. Nothing serious. Everything was good. Um, yeah, and I'm just so relieved that it's over. I'm thankful she came on Monday because Mondays are my big kid days, especially she chose to come right at lunch and she didn't leave till 2.30. So I'm very extra thankful she came on Monday because there were no babies here. So she didn't have to interrupt nap time or anything um, whenever she left because the front door is right there and the room to nap is right there. And she totally would have woken the kids up if she left at 2.30. But thankfully, she chose to come on a Monday. So it was all good. But yeah, I wanted to remember, I was trying to remember. I was like, I need to tell them that I had my inspection because I was shocked. I've been talking about it and I've been waiting. So <clears throat> I'm just, yeah. She came like right in the middle of the month um, instead of like close to the end like last time. So. Yeah, just want to let you know, but I gotta get one little girl leaving. One little girl's gonna have to snack. I gotta go feed the baby a bottle. Um, and the rest of the kids are gonna leave like within an hour, hour and a half ish. So, yeah, I will check them out. Alrighty, guys. Um, daycare day is over. Kids are gone. Let's open this up. A little bit more light. Is that better? Um, if you can hear my vacuum, I apologize. I have it set to go off at 5.30, okay? And with the time change, I've like changed the time on the on the remote. I've changed the time it's supposed to go off. I even changed it like to an hour or two later than what I wanted to go off and it will, always goes off at 4.15. Like I have it set to go off at 5.30. I've changed all the settings and I've even changed them like to the extreme thinking, okay, maybe it'll go off at 5.30 if I set it for 6.30 and the clock thinks it's 7.30. It still goes off at 4.15. So I might have to like completely turn it off and turn it back on. I just prefer it to go off after daycare. Um, but whatever. So if you hear that, I apologize. But we're actually having um, Bible study tonight. I don't know why this is out. Um, we haven't met with for Bible study in a little bit. Um, and we are currently studying Galatians this is the book that we use and we are doing days five and six so this these books um section it off by days and then each day will be a certain part of the chapter um we're doing day five and six which is Galatians 2 1 through 10 and then 11 through 14. so I'm going to read through those chapters kind of highlight some stuff um and prep for Bible study the ladies are actually coming here around 5 45 um usually we meet after church on Sundays but that's just kind of hasn't been working out the best so we've been trying to kind of take it by a week by week basis and see which weeknight we're all free so this week we're doing it tonight um so yeah I'm gonna go through and read this and then I'm probably just gonna chill until they get here it's only like 4 30 right now so I have a lot of time um yeah gonna read this and let's see already guys um i just finished up bible study um they literally just left like 10 minutes ago it's almost eight o'clock i ran upstairs and got a shower really fast and then um i'm watching survivor it comes on at eight i've been loving this season of survivor i feel like it's so good i don't know if anybody watches survivor but if you do and you haven't been tuning into this season you definitely should because it's really good um yeah, I'm gonna chill out, watch Survivor, and then I'll go upstairs and finish getting myself ready for bed. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, but Bible study went really well. I feel like we spent more time just chatting about stuff and catching up versus talking about um, the Bible. But we did talk about the Bible. It's just it was kind of like a small section. It was only 14 verses, and there wasn't like a ton to cover. But we did cover it. Um, so it was nice to get together with them. <sighs> But yeah, so I'm gonna chill and watch my show. Alrighty guys, Survivor's over. It was another really good episode. Um, now I need to get ready for bed. Um, I need to brush my teeth, so I'm gonna do that first and I'll be right back. Alrighty, um, just brush my teeth. Now, I put on this um, 
Mary Kay face mask after my shower. It's a moisture gel renewing mask. Um, it says to leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse it. Um, I left it on for like an hour and a half, but I think it's fine. I'm going to rinse it off. I just, um, when the weather gets colder, my skin gets drier and that helps to keep it from being so dry. Um, I don't always, I don't put it on every night. Um, but I put it on last night and my skin was still dry this morning. So I'm going to put it on again. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is do my little Tula Revive and Rewind Revitalizing Eye Cream. Um, I don't know if you know this, but you're supposed to, uh, put on your eye cream and stuff with your ring finger because it's your weakest finger. So you want to always be gentle around your eyes. You want to use your ring finger. I also get some and just put it on the back of my hands because, I don't know, maybe it'll help my hands not age as quickly if this stuff actually works like it says it does. Um, so, eye cream, and then I'm going to do my magnesium spray. This is the stuff that I bought. I haven't, I think I talked in my last video. I'm going to make my own magnesium spray, but I haven't run out yet. But when I do, I'm just going to use this bottle. Um, yeah, so I sprayed on the bottom of my feet. It's almost gone, so it's kind of hard to spray. Okay, and then I put on, I let it like air dry for a second. And then I put on this Tula like body lotion. I put some on the bottom of my feet too, because my feet get really dry. And then I throw on these little socks just to help keep the moisture in. Um, yeah, that's what I do. That's part of my nighttime routine. Yeah, the only other thing I did... Oh, I forgot to put on my face moisturizer. Okay. Um, the only thing I did after my shower was put on that Mary Kay, um... Moisturizer, so that's the only part of my night routine. You didn't see. I usually put this lotion on my body too, but after I get out of the shower, but I was in a rush to watch Survivor, so I didn't do that. Um, all right, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I just wanted to get that body cream cream off before I put on my face moisturizer. I forgot to do this. I meant to do this after the eye cream. I'll get that later. Just a regular Tula face moisturizer. Okay. Then I am just gonna put on my Aquaphor lip. off and I'm just gonna go to bed um, I was gonna put in my hair curler but I don't think I'm going to I'm just gonna let my hair be what it is tomorrow um mm. one more thing I want to say <clears throat> did I pick up that lid no um I am like one subscriber away from hitting 2,000 subscribers. This morning, I was eight subscribers away, and now I'm only one subscriber away. So I thought, and I posted this on my Instagram story, um, of doing another Q&A when I hit 2K. So I'm literally gonna hit it probably by tomorrow morning. I might even be at it right now, I don't know. But I posted on my Instagram story if um, anybody interested in doing another Q&A and to leave me some questions. So if you have some questions for me that I didn't answer in my last Q&A, um, pretty much anything, anything about me, whatever, leave them in the comments below. And if I get enough questions, I will do a Q and A. If I don't get enough questions, then I probably will just thank them for another Q and A. I'll maybe ask you guys again in a couple months. I don't know, but if you want me to do a Q and A, leave me some questions. Um, that'll be very helpful. Um, yeah, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for spending the day with me. Uh, sorry if it was boring. Like I said, I haven't been feeling the best and just, I knew I wasn't going to do much today, but I want to get a video out. Actually, I'm going to put this out tomorrow. It's my video for tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to edit it tomorrow morning. 
and get it out to you. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and press that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, all of those things do really help out my channel, and I appreciate them so much. And come find me over on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.